Hi guys. April 3rd, 2018. Don't you love your freedom? Don't you love being an American? Don't you love, love living in this country? Yes, this country. The free country. United States of America. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God almighty free at last. Yeah. And there are Americans who actually believe that we are free. Police search man's anus and genitals for non-existent weed. Don't you love our country? Uh-huh. Now I've posted videos throughout the years of police officers doing this to women. Hey guys, wouldn't you love it? No. And it's really not funny. Now, the video is below this article, at the end of the article, and you can watch the video. I decided I have no interest in watching somebody get sexually assaulted by New Jersey State Troopers. Yeah. Great, huh? So, this video it begins with Levine in back of State Trooper Andrew Whitmore's car, refusing to speak to them, refusing to speak to the uh, State Troopers. I find it interesting that the State Trooper decided to flip on his body camera at that point. Don't you think that police officers, if they're pulling somebody over, that they turn their body camera on as they are exiting their vehicle and approaching the civilian's vehicle, no. He turns it on when Jack Levine is sitting in the back of the car. Whitmore tells him the odor of cannabis gives them probable cause to search the vehicle. There was no odor of cannabis in the vehicle. So where was this odor coming from? Well, apparently the state trooper had put him in the back of his police vehicle and then, I guess, did something and came back to the police vehicle and said that it reeked of marijuana or reeked of cannabis. And that's enough. That's enough for a police officer to have probable cause to search a vehicle. And I think that standard is rather loose. Can't you see police officers lying? Hey, I smell pot. If they wanted to search somebody's vehicle, that's all they have to say today. So the officer walks over to State Trooper uh, Joseph Drew, who is searching Levine's car. So there were two State Troopers, uh, and you can hear on this video the police officers, State Troopers, saying, smell anything in here? Negative? Whitmore says, all right, because the dude that I removed, the driver, I moved him. I put him in the back of my vehicle, and my vehicle reeks. He does reek. I think he may have something on him. He may have stashed it somewhere. Then the other officer says, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Another officer says it's not in his pockets. The officer, one officer, begins to check Levine's waistband. And Levine mildly, vocally expresses his disapproval. And the police officer says, 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 wow, now I've begun stuttering. That police officer said, if you think this is the worst thing I'm going to do to you right now, you have another thing coming, my friend. Wow. How Americans treat one another, isn't it? Just, we're... Guys, we are just so incredibly fabulous. Those peace officers, you gotta love them. So, Levine said, this is ridiculous. This is like sexual assault. I don't even have anything in my pants. What are you doing? And then one police officer says, definitely getting the odor when you open his pants. <laughs> Smell that? So Levine, as they're being, as he's being sniffed, 
says, all right, look, do you want me to take my boxes off right here so I don't have to waste your time and go downtown because you think I got weed? Like, what do you want me to do? Like, seriously, I have to go to work. You want me to take my clothes off? I would be more than happy to, officers. And shortly after, Levine asks, am I free to go? Officer says, not at this point, no. Whitmore. That, that was one of the officers. Uh, Levine asks, am I under arrest? And the officer says, yes, you are. Levine asks, for what? The officer says, you're under arrest for the odor of marijuana in your vehicle. Levine asks, so now you can get arrested for somebody smelling something? Whitmore, the officer says, yes, yes, you can. Um, Levine states, I don't have weed. And then states, I don't want you guys effing doing me like the TSA and effing sexually assaulting me. And the officer says, if it comes down to it, I have to put my latex gloves and get it out of there, I will. Levine refers to the impending search as sexual assault. I don't know exactly if this is legal or not, but I don't think it is. That's what you can hear him say. You better hope this is legal. Yeah, it's legal. Don't you love our Supreme Court? I posted a video on this. 2012, Florence versus Burlington. Any person arrested can be subject to a strip search, even for a minor offense or traffic violation, without any reason to suspect that they may be carrying a weapon or contraband. Huh. So the police officers don't even have to suspect that they may be carrying a weapon or contraband. For some reason, the Supreme Court has decided that you get pulled over for a traffic violation, you can get strip searched. And apparently, that can be done on the road as other vehicles are driving by. We have a very sick, deranged, psychopathic country. Levine half-jokingly says, this is disgusting, he's raping me, yo, he's raping me, he's raping me, help. I think I'm traumatized. That was really fucking weird. How many times are you going to check, Levine asks. I can't believe this is happening. Just because a effing cop says he smells weed. The cops did not find weed on Levine or in his vehicle. One cop gave him a ticket for tailgating instead. But that cop said he was arrested. One of the cops said he was arrested. He was arrested! So, if someone's arrested, you take them downtown, you book them. Right? And don't you think it would be kind of wise? All right, you're going to arrest because that officer said, Hey, I can arrest you. Sorry for the car. I can arrest you. I can arrest you just because I smell weed. So, arrest him. Bring him downtown. Then strip search them. You're going to do it on the side of the road. Then you're going to let that guy go free. Just hand him a ticket for tailgating. How unbelievably sick this is. It. Okay. This is what the cop said to him. To Levine. If you honestly believe that your rights were violated or that I was unprofessional in any way. I put my name in my badge number, 
the car I was driving and the license plate of the car. You may fill it out and you may bring it to any state police barracks that you choose, choose to. So that police officer was absolutely fine with his own behavior. Do you think we have a problem? Do you think we have a problem with how police officers, specifically police officers, how they think their mentality? Footage of the incident was uncovered by John Path, an open government advocate. He was filing random public records requests. He told local news outlet, New Jersey 101.5, that he became aware of the search after the driver filed a motion to extend the 90-day deadline for a tort notice. The notification a person must give a government agency before suing suing it in New Jersey in the Sup Superior Court. He then filed records requests for the dash cam and body cam videos. The motion that Levine had filed Levine said, it was the most humiliating experience I've ever been through. Also due to the fact people were driving by very slowly watching him with his hand down my pants. And when Levine actually watched the video footage, he realized that it was both officers. Both officers conducting the search. How is it Americans can't see what's happening here in our country? This because what? He smelled of pot. Perhaps he smoked he smoked a, a joint. Really? This is what we do to people now? Marijuana, pot, the, the safest, the safest drug out there. Some states now have legalized it, other states have not. I, this has been going on my entire life. Uh, how anybody could think that marijuana should be classified as an illegal drug uh, is really it frightening. It should have been legalized a long, long time ago, but oh my God, if it is, what are cops going to say when they want to search a vehicle and they can't say, I smell pot? This is how sick our country is. Our leaders. Drug dealer death penalty could apply to legal marijuana growers. Hey, get rid of them. Kill them. Kill them. I don't care if it's legal. Federal government. We didn't make it legal. State governments made it legal. And I'm pissed. So now I want to kill. Legal marijuana growers. Yeah. Celebrate, celebrate, dance to the music. As I go through headlines, that's what happened. That's the song that came to my head very often as I'm going through the headlines, checking out what's happening in the greatest country in the world, the United States of America where we can enjoy our freedom. 